Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to plot or graph an equation or formula in Microsoft Excel. I'll try and keep it as simple as possible and limit the number of steps involved. And by the end of the video, hopefully you should be able to plot just about any type of formula. We'll go through one or two examples. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into it. So open up Excel and let's say we wanted to first begin with this example, y equals 3x plus 7. The best way to start is to give ourselves two columns here, one of them titled X and one of them titled Y. Now that we've got the column, select the box under the Y. For us it's E7, but for you it will probably be something different. In this box we need to effectively enter the formula that we've got here. Firstly we need to type in equals into our box under the Y. This will start off the formula. Now for this example, 3x plus 7, the box to the left of the current box that we are in is going to be our x value. So essentially we need to replace the x in the formula with this box. So instead of saying 3x, we would say 3 times this box here, because this is the x. So to do that we're going to enter 3 after the equals, and now we need to choose multiply because we are going to times it by the x, and again instead of adding x here, we need to add this box. So we're going to select this box. So that says 3 times d7. d7 is effectively the value for x. And then we need to finally put the plus and the 7, and then we can hit enter. As you can see, it's set it to 7 because it's treating x as 0. Now what we can do is make our x values. So this is what we want to include on the graph. This will be up to you, but you might have a specified amount. So for example, from 0 to 10 or minus 10 to 10. It really is up to you unless you are given what you need, depending on how much of the graph you want to see. So for this example, we'll start it nice and simple and do zero for this one. And then we're going to put one, two, three, four under this. The easy way to do that is to, of course, go equals under it, up one and then plus one. And then we can drag that down. All we need to do now is click on the Y box and drag this down as well to where we want to finish off. So we'll do it for 10 for now. And as you can see, it's filled out the formula for all of these x values. So we now have our x and y values, and we now need to plot this on the graph. Go to the Insert tab at the top, and then choose the Scatter Chart. Now make sure you're in this Chart section and not the Sparkline section, and click on this icon here for the Scatter Graph, and then choose the top left option. With the graph selected, go to Select Data here, and then all we need to do is simply drag our box and cursor over the values that we've got including the X and Y at the top. It should look something like this, and then you can press OK. As you can see, that's now plotted our graph with all of these plots. Click once on a data set, and then go to Add Chart Element in the top left. Choose Trend Line, and then Linear. So that's the basic way to plot the graph. We can customize the appearance of the graph to make it easier to see, so we can quickly do that now. Select the graph, go to Add Chart Element, Trend Line, and then More Trend Line Options. This will bring up this window on the right. With linear set, we can actually display the equation on the chart, and as you can see, it's exactly right to what we had initially. This is a good way of checking that we've inputted this equation right, because this up here is not even linked to this at all. If you go to this paint bucket here, we can customize some of the colors and features of the trend line, so we can make it a solid line if we wanted. If you click on a data point, this should open up the format data series box, so if we go to the Format Data Series fill icon, we can actually remove the marker options if you select marker here. So it'll just leave us with the trend line. So that was the basic example. You should be able to follow that method to just about enter any type of formula. Of course, the only difference will be how you enter it in this box. So we'll do a slightly different example. This is y equals x squared plus 5. It'll be a standard x squared, but obviously translated up 5 if we enter this correctly. So we'll go from minus 10 to 10 for the x values. If we go into the box under the Y, this time press equals, and then we're going to select the box to the left of it. This is the X. Now obviously we need X squared, so all we can do is either square it ourselves, or we can just times it by the same box. So D7 times D7 is the exact same in this case as X squared. Finish it off by adding 5 onto the end, and hit enter. 105, we can quickly do that in our heads, and that is right. Drag the Y box down for all of our values, and it should fill them out. Head back to Insert, then the Scatter Chart, top left option, then select the graph, go to Select Data, and then again drag this over our data set. Click on OK, and it should look like this. 
As you can see, this looks exactly how we'd expect it to, a standard x squared graph, which has been translated up 5 because of the 5 on the end. Select the data, go to chart design, add chart element, go to the trend line option. This time we're going to go to more trend line options, and this time we'll add a polynomial trend line. Once again, we can format the trend line so we can remove the dashed effect, and then we'll remove the markers for the data series. And there's the x squared plus 5 example. As mentioned, you can do this for any formula as long as you enter it into here correctly. And so that is how to graph or plot a formula or equation in Microsoft Excel. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.